Evernote recently announced some changes to reminders, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to teach you the advanced search operators that you can use to filter your reminders. If you don't know what advanced search operators are, please go watch the other videos on this series. You'll find the link in the description below, because on this one, I'm going straight to the point. Let's start with reminder order, colon, asterisk. As you already know, all you have to do is type that inside the search box. And yes, you can do that anywhere on the web, desktop, mobile apps, anywhere you want. So let's do it. This will show you all the reminders you have in Evernote. And as you can see here, there is even one here set as Dawn. There is this one here that is in the timeline notebook, this other one also in the timeline, this one is in the creator notebook. So it doesn't matter if it is a reminder with the date, if it is uh, Dawn, and where it is in, in your Evernote, it will show you all the reminders. And of course, just like with the other operators, we can add here, for example, notebook creator, and this will show me all the reminders that I have in the creator notebook. So here they are. To make things more visible, I title some notes with what the reminder is. In this case, for example, it is a reminder with no due date, and this one is a reminder for this date. Okay, now let me show you how to use the other operators. And by the way, if you are a supporter on Patreon or YouTube, there is a companion note. You find the links in the description below, just like what happened uh, with the other uh, videos uh, from this series. There is a note with all the details and a lot of examples. Next is the reminder time column. This is the one that will help you uh, filter uh, the upcoming uh, reminders, the upcoming due dates. Okay, let's use the search box again. Reminder time colon. And here we'll use the word day. Day in this context here means today. If you want tomorrow, it is day plus one, the day after tomorrow, day plus two, and so on. However, this is from today. So it is today, tomorrow, and everything that comes after today and after today. If you use day plus one, it will be tomorrow and everything that comes after tomorrow. And don't worry, there are ways to limit this. We'll get there. Okay, the first one here is a reminder set as done, but it is for today, and that's why it is in the list, okay? Now let's change this to day plus one. Now we have here the reminders that are set for tomorrow and everything that comes after tomorrow. As you can see here, there is uh, the 24th, that is tomorrow, and we have uh, uh, a reminder for August. Now let's take a look at the last operator, reminder, date, time, and use it with the others to create a specific interval of time to filter your reminders. Here we are again at the reminder order column asterisk to see all our reminders. And we'll work with this one here that has uh, a, a completed due date. So if I change this to reminder dawn time day, it will show me all the reminders that were set as dawn from today on, okay? And of course, we'll see this one. The day word here refers to the day you set that reminder as dawn, okay? Let's, tr let's use this one here that has a due date for tomorrow. If I mark it as dawn and try that again, reminder, dawn, time, day, we are now seeing both because I marked it as completed today, okay? Now, if I go back in time, for example, if I do something like minus one, this refers to from yesterday on. So 
I'll keep seeing them because I mark them as completed today. But let's go a little crazy here. <laughs> let's create an interval uh, between the day before yesterday and yesterday. To do that, we'll use the minus uh, symbol in front of the reminder, in front of the operator. Again, if you haven't watched the other videos, go watch them. So what I want is everything from two days ago, all reminders marked as complete from two days ago, minus, I'm gonna copy this to make my life easier, paste, minus everything from one day ago. So we are creating an interval here from two days ago until yesterday. And they are now all gone, okay? <laughs> and of course, I can do something like this. Instead of adding a date here, I can add an asterisk. So that will that means everything. Unfortunately, I don't have other uh, completed uh, reminders to show you, but that would show you all the completed reminders. And that's how we can, for example, exclude uh, the completed reminders from that main list. So let's do that. Reminder, order, asterisk, space, minus everything that is marked as completed, marked as done. So here we have it. But what about the reminders that don't have due date? Many of them here don't have due dates. Can we possibly remove them from this filter? Yes, we can. But first, let me show you this. You created this uh, combination here, and if you plan to use this uh, often, you can come here and save the search. Let's call this Reminders A. Okay, and we can also add this to the shortcuts. Now let's see, I'm here working on my collaborations notebook, but I need access to those reminders. I can come here, everywhere, start typing reminder, and here it is. This is the saved search. We can click here, and here it is. The result is exactly the combination we have here in the search box, but there is more. I'm going to copy this to make my life easier again. And let's go to Evernote Home. We can create a widget, a filtered notes widget with that same combination or any combination you prefer. And here we have it. Let's use the big one all the reminders except the ones uh, that are marked as completed. And that's one of the reasons I love Evernote Home so much. There are so many possibilities co when we combine the advanced search and the filtered notes widgets. It, it, it's kind of a dynamic, it's not kind of, it is a dynamic home. Let's go back to our search box to filter all the reminders with due date and exclude the ones with no due date and the ones that are marked as done. Reminder time column asterisk will show you all the reminders with uh, a due date. And from here, we can exclude minus Reminder, Dawn. Pretty cool, right? But what if I want the other way around? Only the reminders uh, with no due date. <laughs> it's possible too. All the reminders, reminder, order, asterisk. So this will show me all the reminders, but I'll exclude reminder, time, and I'll also exclude reminder, done, time. What about seeing all your notes uh, with reminders that have a due date for the next seven days? Let's start with reminder, time, day. So we have here all the reminders from today on. 
24, 23, 7, and 23. This one here is more than seven days, so let's limit it uh, to the next seven days. So minus reminder time day plus seven. This second part will exclude anything that comes after the next seven days. There we have it. If you found this helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And remember, if you are a supporter on Patreon or YouTube, there is extra content for you in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.